I should have known I was going to be in for something when they spell this movie. T-R-A-F-F-I-C-K. Traffic, up next, let's go. What's up, y'all? You are now rocking with Brian's Cosigns. I am Brian Gunn. Here in Atlanta, we have two depressing things. Rush hour traffic and, sadly, human trafficking. Both are at the top of the list uh, among the nation's worst. Now, when I saw the trailer for the new movie Traffic, I figured I could relate because it had scenes of cars, trucks, and motorcycles and I'm behind those mostly every morning after seeing this movie uh, I want to analogize all right so you know when you were in traffic and you're there for a long time and you want to take the quickest off-ramp to avoid all of that gridlock and jump back on the highway where it's clear to reach your destination so that's kinda how this movie is just, just just follow me. <laughs> Traffic stars Paula Patton, Omar Epps, Rosalind Sanchez, and Laz Alonzo. Epps and Patton are a couple, as are Alonzo and uh, Sanchez. Epps wants to impress Paula with this weekend getaway for her birthday. So Laz Alonzo's character, who's this uh, obnoxious uh, sports agent, lets them hold a rental property somewhere in the mountains. Epps is also a mechanic who builds um, Patton a dream car, which really doesn't have anything to do with the rest of the movie, but hey, they just threw that in there. And I'll continue. So they stop at a gas station on their way to that weekend getaway home. There's this crazy interaction between Patton and a distressed lady in the restroom while outside at the pump, Epps is confronted by some hillbilly looking racist bikers. Now this is the best sequence in the whole film, by the way. All right? and, and we're not even through the entire film, man. We're just like maybe 10 minutes into it. So they get in the car and leave. One of the bikers gives chase, they elude the biker, and they finally reach their destination. I pretty much told you everything that the trailer has shown you. But what I haven't told you is what this movie is really about. Here's a hint. It has nothing to do with traffic, but it has everything to do with trafficking. Mm. But, but, but that's not what the, the trailer, I know, I know, I know, I know. Traffic's heart was in the right place, but I mean, like, like, like my analogy, the first half of this film was basically gridlock. You wanted this movie to take that off ramp and make its point, but it just went nowhere. There is a pool scene which had absolutely nothing to do with the plot. There is a secret involving the couples which had nothing to do with the plot. The movie takes on a horror film style feel, all right? In the middle of nowhere, dark woods, a house, a phone that doesn't work, which had absolutely nothing to do with the plot. <laughs> oh my God, I know y'all are out there like, damn, is there anything good about traffic? <laughs> yes, that would be the attention it brings to an issue surrounding the movie and uh, the cinematography. But, Oh, there's a but. The editing 
and the camera angles and just the overall production takes away from those positives. The first half of this movie is a corny, predictable soap opera, while the second half tries to get serious, bringing us this meaningful expose about a worldwide problem. The entire movie, however, is a poorly shot fiasco that honestly would have been better as an episode on Criminal Minds. The third act is exciting and entertaining, but <laughs> there's a second but. That's what third acts are supposed to do, y'all. You can't give them, I can't give them props on that. I can't do it. There is a possibility of a sequel. A sequel, y'all. Listen, for shedding light on a horrific injustice, I am going to give traffic a straight to stream and cosign. Otherwise, I give it a no sign, but I'm going to do that. All right? Traffic gets a straight to stream and cosign. Straight to streaming, streaming. I just want a Netflix and chill. There you have it, folks. Traffic. Have you seen it? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Put your comments down south. Let me check them out. Subscribe, please. And as always, take your words to the movies. <laughs> All right. Brian's co-signing. I felt like I was in traffic while watching this, but I paid my toll booth money, so...